Hello, my name is Ray Poole. I'd like to share the information from my workshop presentation, Leverobics. Don't worry, no spandex is required. Let's get very familiar with the levers on your harp. The first problem I find is that harpists can't see their levers clearly and distinctly. Do they just have little dots to mark the red C's and the blue F's? If so, let's look at some options you can consider to improve this situation. This harp has plain black levers. Small colored rings have been applied to assist in the quick identification of C's and F's. This harp also has plain black levers, but at my request, the manufacturer applied plastic shrink tubing to the appropriate levers for quick identification. This is a great help. This harp has chrome-plated levers that have small colored bands on the shaft. I found that I wanted a bit more color added. I painted the tips to help them stand out. That was my choice. And another choice is to purchase red and blue electrician's tape and wrap the levers. Consider these choices as you contemplate your personal needs. Let's do a few simple exercises to study the relationship between the pairings of strings and levers. Start with your hands on the sounding board like this. This harp is tuned in C major. All levers are open. Visually, locate the lever of middle C. Without moving your hands, just look up the octave at each lever until you get to the next C above it, and then return. You now know the range of the middle octave of levers on your harp. That seems so simple, but if you don't start at the beginning, you'll never get to the end. Let's study the time and space involved to move from the sounding board up to the lever and string and back. With your left index finger, point to the middle C lever and return to the sounding board. Point and return. With your right index finger, play that same C string. and return. Now do both movements at the same time. Just touch and play and return. Have you ever done that before? Maybe not. Well now's the time to start to develop the relationship between levers and strings in time and space. This harp is tuned with the open strings in C major. Say out loud the pitch of the string as you play it, and also touch the corresponding lever. Move slowly and deliberately, touch and play at the same time. Always return to the sounding board after each pitch. Say touch play with me. C, return. D, return. E, return. F, return. G, return. A, return. B, return. C, return. This harp is tuned in E flat major with the open strings. The levers are currently set for the key of C major. The E's, A's, and B's are engaged. For those of you with E flat tuning, do the same exercise of touching and playing while saying the pitch. This will teach you the shape of the key signature. Notice the pattern of levers that are up or down to play in this key. Learning the geography of the harp is very important. Say and play with me. C. D. E. F. G. A. B.
From this point on, all exercises will be shown on harps tuned in E-flat, open strings, set to the key of C major. Don't worry, we can still play together as long as you are in C major. Let's practice a more complex exercise, combining lever movements and playing, finally returning to the sounding board. Notice how I stopped the sound of the string before moving the lever. Keep the left hand on the lever until you have completed each part of the exercise. Return to the sounding board after each lever string combination has been studied. Here's the first step of the scale on C. C, touch, sharp, touch, C, and hands down. Let's repeat that. C, touch, sharp, touch, C, and hands down. As we go up the scale, those of you tuned in C major will make each lever change to give a note one half step higher. Those of you tuned in E flat major will play along with me. Some half steps will be higher, some will be lower. Even with this slight variance, the sound is not disturbing, it's just different. Let's play this study in half steps on each step of the scale for a full octave, one note at a time, returning to the sounding board after each string. Beginning on C. C, touch, sharp, touch, C, and down. D, touch, sharp, touch, D, and down. E, touch, flat, touch, E, and down. F, sharp, F, G, sharp, G, A, flat, A, B, flat, B, C, sharp, C, and finish. By now, your hands should be more comfortable with going to the same string and lever simultaneously. If you are in need of more practice with this, I suggest that you stop the video and practice what we've just done. If you pay attention to the most fundamental elements, you will progress. Now let's find the pairs of strings and levers of the same step of the scale, but in multiple octaves. This is a 36 string harp tuned in E flat major open strings. It's currently set for the key of C major with all E, A, and B levers engaged. With my left hand only, I will touch the levers of every C from the bottom to the top of the harp. Now many people may not be able to reach the very lowest octave easily. If so, just point to that one and then begin touching the C lever, an octave below middle C. Touch the lever and say C six times, always returning to the sounding board. If you have a 36 string harp, or touch your lowest C string and continue up the harp on smaller instruments. Remember, always return to the sounding board. Left hand only, touch and say. C, 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 C. Did you ever do that before? Now let's play the corresponding strings at the same time we touch the levers, then return to the sounding board. 
that lowest octave may be pretty low for you. You might not be able to reach it. So that's the case. Just look at it and then join in an octave higher. Say while simultaneously touching the levers and playing the strings, then returning to the sounding board. C, return. C, return. C, return. C, return. C, return. C, return. For our final exercise, covering the entire range of the harp, let's do the three-note lever movement we studied before on each C, starting at the bottom of the harp and going all the way to the top. If you can't reach the lowest pair, then just join in on the next octave. And we have C, touch, sharp, touch, C, and return. C, touch, sharp, touch, and return. C, sharp, C, 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 and return. Continue on all the other steps of the C major scale. All of the Ds, all of the Es, all of the Fs, G, A, B. Moving from one octave to another. Your left hand should begin to find and move the levers with the same agility that your right hand finds the strings. Please watch my video, Ain't Misbehavin', to see these movements in action. There's a link to it in the information paragraph below this screen. Start at the beginning, you'll get to the end. Thanks for watching.